So this is the rough pattern that I made uh, a little bit earlier. Uh, as you can see, I built in a little bit of an overlay. I cut both pieces from uh, plastic canvas and I cut out pieces of spandex to match. They're slightly bigger than the plastic canvas. I'm showing two different methods of getting it on. Um, one of this is uh, just getting it on. <laughs> oh man, of getting the spandex onto the um, plastic canvas. Uh, this one I'm pinning it on. This one I just sprayed the wrong side of the spandex with a little bit of spray adhesive um, to not require any pins. I really hate dealing with pins. It's part of why I like doing spandex is because most of the stuff you do, you really don't need pins for. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this on. Uh, this is the one that has an overlap. As you can see, this will be this way. And this one will be that way. So I'm going to start at one of the edges that will become an overlap underneath the other one, just to keep it neat. And you just sew through the plastic canvas while holding the spandex tight down against the uh, plastic canvas. Just as you go, keep pulling it tight. And it's just a straight stitch. So there we have the first piece. So as you can see, I kept it smooth as I went. You got a little bit of fluff here. You just trim the excess. Make sure you don't cut any of your thread or you're gonna be starting over again with the sewing. Just get a little bit of the bulk out. There's gonna be the wire going in over top of this. So there will be another round of stitching holding the excess down. Now I'm gonna get started on the second piece. So as you can see, I've got the two pieces finished now that will make up the headpiece. I'm going to go back to this pattern and lay them out. So that's how I wanted it. So I'm just going to hold it in place there. As I stitch the two together. What I do is I'm sewing along the edge of the top piece here to stitch it down and then I'll come around the other side to secure the underside flap so there's no, so they're coherent and together so they're not flapping around. But as of now it's held in place and I don't need to be holding them together. Now it's just a matter of making it pretty. around the underside here and just continue stitching it down and these are not put under a lot of pressure there's nothing pulling against the seam once they're attached to the head they're pretty you know not subject to anything so they don't have to be super well stitched in you don't have to do tiny stitches in a million of them you just have to tack them into place basically Just glue some more thread together for the next round. So, anyways, this is your headpiece. 
probably should have picked a darker pink because you can't really see that against my table. Anyway, the next step is to get some wire. I use a 20 gauge copper wire normally. Uh, this is a gold colored wire. If you can find the dark black that's got about the same, I guess, feel as a top 20 gauge copper wire, then go ahead and use that. So what I do for the very first one is I wrap it around the end of a pen or a pencil and just twist it a few times. I should have a clamp with me, but I don't this time. Anyway, so that's just to get rid of the end here so it doesn't stab anyone. And then what I do is every two inches or so, wrap it around, give it a twist. And I'll usually just do, can you see that? I don't know if that's visible. I haven't done this in a while, so it's uh, usually I'm a lot more quick with it. Oh, here we go now, back into my groove. It doesn't matter which way they're facing because once you sew them in, you're gonna manipulate it. So I'll just get a bit of it started. You don't need to go the whole length of it yet. You want to have some flexibility in where you place them. So what I'm going to do is start at one of the places where the blue is and just go around. <coughs> so for starting out, you're going to have all the wires or all the loops facing outward, but not all the way out. So you'll have them kind of within the headpiece a bit and just kind of stick it out a little bit. And now we're going to go and sew that. So. So we'll go back and start running some more wire loops. So I swapped off the color, so I'm going to be sewing around the next side. If you're going to be putting a ton of crystals on, then you don't necessarily need to swap over another color thread. If you're just going to be hiding it anyway. It's good to not sew with too long of a thread anyways, because you get knots like this. It's kind of a pain. I'm not a huge fan of hand sewing in general because of stuff like this. So what I did there was twist it so that the wires uh, facing the other one, so it won't be a loose wire stabbing you in the head. And now we've got the finished headpiece right there. If there's any threads, you just want to trim them. The wire that you added is going to help with structure so you can bend it around your head like this. And the loops are for bobby pins. You can always bend them under as you're doing that. If, if, you're, if it shows up against your hair, if you're blonde, you usually don't need to. Uh, otherwise, like I said, you can find like a darker wire. Just find something that's going to be rust proof. And that's that. You can use this technique to make any kind of style you want, any shapes, any color. Uh, you want to try and stick to spandex if you can, just so that it's easy to manipulate it around the plastic canvas. And that's that. A headpiece.